This here is a picture sent to me from my niece Jessica and was something she had found online and asked if I could recreate it for her. Um, this was basically all I had to go on since there were no dimensions provided with the picture. I just had to scale it up to size as best I could. And once I had a pretty good idea of the angles and laid it out on paper, I just took a bunch of one by twos and ran with it. So here's a short video of that process. This is the process of planing and uh, basically gets each piece of wood to the same thickness and which is important when making a piece such as this uh, with various types of wood and pieces of scrap. It tends to be a bit tedious but not as tedious if I were to do it by hand. One of the pieces was a bit too small and ended up getting ripped to shreds but oh well it happened. After the planing process, I cleaned up any of the rough edges on the belt sander and the smaller pieces that I couldn't fit through the planer, uh, I just sanded those down to size. Once I attached the frame to the backer board, I went ahead and rounded it over with my router and uh, gave it a nice sleek, uh, clean look. This was a last minute decision to add a dark tint um, to the backer board just so any gaps between the planks wouldn't be as noticeable. And then uh, I also added a second coat um, to the black planks just to make them pop a little bit in contrast to the lighter boards. Because all the wood was previously stained and sealed, um, I couldn't use any wood glue to adhere the boards to the backer um, just because all the pores had been sealed. So I used a construction um, type adhesive and it seemed to work pretty well.
Well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and maybe learned a little something along the way. And uh, I'd like to thank Jessica for sending me this project. Uh, I really enjoyed it and was pretty happy with the end result. And I um, think she will be too. And uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And other than that, thanks again.